Hey guys, it's Nick and today we're checking out this 2023 Range Rover SC. Let's get into it. All right, so this one is in Fuji white. With the Range Rover lettering up on the hood there. Love that it's got the black wheels and all the black trim everywhere. As you can see, they are 22s, wrapped in 285, 45R22s. Brimbo brakes hiding behind the rim there. You got the uh, blacked out hockey pucks, blacked out mirrors, blacked out roof. Typical Range Rover look and I love it. I love what they did with the um, tail light design on the new one for sure. Looks really good there. Two antennas up top. This one doesn't have the tow package, but it's got all the front and rear sensors and all the 360 camera, which is pretty nice. I love how these door handles hide away. So when you lock it, they just go away and the mirrors fold in. And when you unlock it, they come right back out. Pretty sweet, pretty good looking SUV. Definitely a great SUV to road trip into. Let's check out the interior. Actually, before we get into the interior, let's check out under the hood. This one's got the 4.4 liter V8 twin turbo, making 523 horsepower, 553 foot-pounds of torque, and it's mated to an eight-speed automatic transmission. Hopping into the driver's seat, beautiful interior in this one with the white seats. I believe they call it Perlino. Pretty easy to get in here. Premium materials all throughout on the door up high, the rest, and down there. All your window switches, seat controls, mirrors, and then your lock and unlocks over there. Start button right in the middle, put on the brake, hit the start button, starts right up. All digital dash, no heads up display in this one and no clear sight rear view mirror, but it does still have the panoramic sunroof. I love the two tone on the steering wheel, that black exterior there with the white. This one is a pre-owned, so it's got 9,700 miles on it. It's listed just at 130, I think it's 131. Pretty well equipped, all your lights are there. You got the flappy paddles there. Media controls, the left side of the steering wheel. Cruise control, it's adaptive, so it'll keep you in the lanes, keep you behind the vehicle in front of you. And you've got your heated steering wheel there. And then all your wiper controls are there. You got the big display with all the cool apps like your seats. They are heated and cooled and they have the massaging. So turn that on there. Choose what massage you want direction and the intensity back to apps you got carplay android auto your 4x4 info low track launch weight sensing and then your cabin lights park assist pretty well equipped all your climate controls are down here pretty interesting you push these in and then you turn to the left for cooled seats turn to the right for heated seats and right here you got a little cubby with your wireless phone charger the USB-C there. Down here, you got the shifter, start stop button, your volume knob, and then your different drive modes. And then right below that, you got your cup holders and some extra storage under the cup holders. And then you also get a couple more ports like a USB-C, USB-A. Not too bad. And you got the center console with no, no ports in here, just a little light. One of my favorite features is having the two glove boxes. So you got your glove box up high, and then the one down below it. Plenty of storage in this thing. It's got the Meridian sound system, so it sounds really good. Let's check out what the legroom is in the back. All right, and getting into the back seat, pretty easy as well. It's not too high, not too low, it's just right. I am 5'8", I was driving this, so it's adjusted to my height, and I've got about five, six inches of legroom from my knee to the back of that seat. You get all your window controls and recline controls on the door here. As you can see, I can also roll down the passenger side window from this button. 
I can do both of them at the same time or just this side. And you got your lights and then the shade here is gonna be for the panoramic. We'll open that up. In the center, you've got some vents. You've got your climate controls. Same thing, you push these knobs in. Left for cooled seats, right for heated seats. Then down below, you got a couple USB-C ports with a cigarette plug port. A little bit of storage behind the seats here. You can see there and there. And it's a super comfy back seat. Plenty of light with the sunroof open, that panoramic. And then you do get the center armrest as well with some more storage and cup holders. And look how beautiful that dash looks. For trunk space, plenty of room back here. You can definitely fit some golf clubs or some big suitcases in here. Not a problem. It does have the privacy cover. This one's not automatic, it's just a manual. Kind of push it up and over like that. On the right here, you can adjust the right height of the rear. So you can lower it if you gotta pick something heavy up into the trunk or you can raise it to get some up to chest height, a little more comfortable to pull out. And then you've got your buttons to fold down that uh, middle row there. And then under here, you've got a full size spare. And I like that they do the tailgate on these. And with the push of a button, the clamshell folds away. But yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Let me know if you guys have any comments or concerns. You can always like, comment, and subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.